ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Will you please give a big huge round of applause for the amazing Mr. Jason Rouse! Rouse! Woo! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Yes, good to be back. What is this microphone? It's starting to remind me of summer camp. <laughs> that badge <laughs> yes I, uh, I never used to be like this before I moved to London from Canada I used to be a 12 year old girl with a dream <laughs> my vagina looks terrible now <laughs> I love the smile on this lady's face over here you're just happy because I'm not your son <laughs> she's looking at the stage going in my day we would have drowned a boy like that Goddamn city queers. Actually, I was getting a blow job the other night. Girl asked me to warn her when I was gonna come, so I farted. <laughs> Look, and what more of a warning you girls need? You hear the funny noise, get the fuck out of Dodge. She's all like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't pay you to talk. <laughs> Ooh. Family, though, what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> I am not going to that reunion again. Let me tell you, Grandma. No matter how good the potato salad is. You guys bring it into this, because at the end of the show, I jack off with a belt around my neck and sing in excess songs. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. I wouldn't laugh with your mouth open, sweetheart, because if I come in it, it's gonna look like an open tin of mushroom soup. I mean, would you like to see a movie? I love her, she's got her hands over her vagina like I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> but you're an older lady, so it probably looks like somebody shit in a hairbrush. <laughs> Big old hairy monster, you pull down the knickers and it's... <laughs> we meet again, Chewy. <laughs> And your gums are bleeding. <laughs> I love it. Some people are laughing. Other people are going, the police should have been here by now. <laughs> I feel a lot of love in this room tonight. <laughs> Do we have couples here? Are you two together? Yeah, and what's your name, sir? Steven, how long have you been with your lovely lady? Five years. Are you married? No. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the asshole anymore, Steve. <laughs> You've been pounding that pussy for five years and you can't put a ring on that bitch's finger. <laughs> well, fuck you, Steve. <laughs> and that's right from the vagina to you. <laughs> Do you love him? Yeah. Do you find the sex is better when you're in love, Steve? <laughs> you're not supposed to laugh when I ask that question, Steve. <laughs> I think the sex is better when you're in love. Actually, I was making love the other day. <laughs> it could happen. All right, I haven't seen a vagina in so long. I've been jacking off to my own ass in the mirror. Yeah, I put lipstick on it so it's not so gay. <laughs> Every morning it's the same thing. Oh, I didn't see you come in. You are the boss, Tony Danza. You're the boss. I had to say it was a little while ago, and I was thinking to myself in the middle of this beautiful, beautiful expression of love. If she was to suddenly die, would I stop or not? <laughs> I know, that is a tough one, isn't it? What do you think you do, Steve? <laughs> Look at the smile on your face, Steve. You're gonna fuck her until the cops show up, aren't you, Steven? <laughs> I think at first I'm gonna be a little upset. Huh? <laughs> oh no, she's dead. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> I guess we're doing something different tonight. <laughs> oh, do you never to complain from a corpse? Like you're on my hair. I got a cramp in my leg. Ah! Get that gun out of my mouth. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Family. <laughs> Now, you've been with Steve now for five years. In that time, sweetheart, has Steve ever tried to pressure you anything sexual you'd want to do? 
Has Steve ever tried to take the dirt road? <laughs> Has Steve ever tried to make a baby in your bum? <laughs> Steve's laughing because you call that Wednesday, don't you, Steve? <laughs> the old shit locker shuffle. <laughs> By a show of hands, how many people here have ever fucked a hooker with a frozen piece of dog shit? <laughs> mm, apparently you've never been to Liverpool. It's a crazy town. It's kind of a weird night for me for a couple reasons. Well, this show, whew, it's kind of fallen on a uh, bit of a painful anniversary for me. Um, uh, a number of years ago, when my, uh, <clears throat> when my brother and I were nine and 10 years old, my mom got really sick and um, she was in the hospital. It was, it was very serious. And um, I'll never... Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> when... Um, <laughs> when my... Um, when my dad got off the phone with a doctor, he... Uh, He called me and my brother in the living room and he sat us down on the couch and he told us mom was really sick and she might not come home. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, well, mom was in the hospital. We'd have to help out around the house. And then my daddy, he gave us a big hug and a kiss. And then he pushed our heads together and said, that should make a nice cunt for your old man, and he fucked our necks. <laughs> he played me and my brother like a violin. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, all right, get yourself cleaned up. You're going to be late for school. We told the principal, but he said there was nothing he could do as long as he wasn't inside of us. <laughs> I remember walking through the hallway and some guy goes, nice love bite, you faggot. I said, that's not a love bite, that's for my dad's cock, you queer. <laughs> I have to leave now because the police are here. Oh, what I'm trying to say, folks, tonight is please don't use drugs. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Can you see the right stage, gentlemen?